I play all my career with number nine. Sometimes dropped him, but yeah. sometimes play more high. But I play with Lewandowski. I play with Messi and I, with Samuelito, with Titi Henry. I play with uh, let me see, David Villa. I play with uh, with Gabriel Jesus. So I play with nine. It's not not a problem. With Haaland, is it kind of like out and out? Yeah, as a player, he makes incredible deep runners, but when the opponents are spaced in front of him, he can drop. But sometimes when the holding midfielder stay there and doesn't move, it's not necessary to drop. So no. that's why I have... He's a guy, he lives in the box, he scores goals, and that's why he's here. You t mentioned a, like, a plethora of great number nines. Where does he rank for you? Where's Haaland at the moment? Do you, what do you see him? Who's he like most? We are together one month and a half, so but you have to see the numbers when playing Salzburg and, and Dortmund and BVB. So it's quite impressed, you know, the numbers and the amount of goals he has got. So he scores. So and and it's not necessary to say in which seven. He's an exceptional, exceptional striker, especially the age, early age. And what I want, and I have that feeling that he has, is the fact that I can do better. I can be a better player, better finish it, better understand the game, better little details, getting better in the smaller spaces. Mm. We know how good it is when he can run in the bigger spaces because it's, it's, it's massive. But, yeah, it's huge. but uh, when the opponent decide to set back and defend deep deep, so it's more difficult. And with the Ajax going to improve, he will improve. Is That is what I'm looking for. Is today. that your favorite type of player? Uh, I love it. Yeah. Uh, my favorite player is when he's a good person. This is my favorite one. Mm. When think, uh, don't misunderstand me. They need to be a football player. They need to be the ego a little bit mm, yeah. high, but not much high. And I love to work with this type of persons. I love it. I love it. And that's why one of the things I learned from the ages when we were going to buy a player. First of all, I asked to a sport director club, "How is this a person?" Really? So, yeah, absolutely. I don't care the skills. Really? Really. Wow. Because the scouting department, they will show me good players. They are not a stupid. Severe by stereos always say it's better a better um, a better character than a better swing. So it's not make sense to try to win the titles when there are poisons and a big big a bad things in the in the old facilities, in the mm. locker rooms. It's the same with the staff or background staff. When someone is not not will not be it's together. To uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Look, transfer windows open at the moment. I think you've said pretty much everyone you need is in through the door. That doesn't necessarily stop players going out the door in this period. Is it a frustrating? Because you've got a really good policy here, I, I understand. It's kind of like if they meet your valuation and if the player's not happy, that's it. They, yeah. they go. Now it starts to be a little bit dangerous what will happen. But this is the same, the same you know, talk we had in the previous uh, uh, answer. So. If you force to one person to stay when he doesn't want to stay, how you can get the best of him? It's impossible. I would love to move anyone right now. I love with the squad I have. I feel comfortable comfortable training with them because they are after six, seven years we we know each other incredibly well and and it's it's easy in the bad moments I know how they react incredible top class because I don't care when we win, it's when we lose how they behave and they behave top because they show it for the past many, many times. And and I would love to stay all together, but at the same time the transfer window is in ten to fifteen days and everything can happen, you know? And good offer and the players wanna leave, we will find a solution. I don't know which one, but we will find it. Okay. What about you? Because I know that you still kind of not necessarily put pen to paper to a, a, extending a contract and you know you have all this kind of past history of staying at clubs for a few years and then moving on I spoke to you before way back and you said you loved it here apart from the weather the weather's changed does that mean you're staying yeah, two days <laughs> <laughs> it's okay I'm going to answer to you uh, in you know we World up after World Cup we, we, we talk yeah. The best for the club, for me, for the club the best, the first and after we will see. I love being a manager, otherwise we will not be here. But um, in the same times, I like to enjoy my, my, my job. Enjoy means prepare a lot and be sad when you defeat, be happy when you're victorious, but at the same times to take, you know, take time to, okay, one day off. Like this month is, I'm not saying all year like this, eh? but we have long week and you can prepare. When you play every three days, it's like eat a spaghetti every day. Spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. I love spaghetti, but the arrival moment, uh, I want to eat uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What else do you want to What eat? else? <laughs> but no spaghetti. Yeah, I hear. And it's like you are a machine, you know, prepare the game, win, yeah. go home, uh, analyze. No, tomorrow prepare another one, another one, another one. And you feel it, maybe take a break, it's good. Ericton Hag at the moment, I know across, you know, the, the, the city, is struggling there at the moment. It seems Manchester United is struggling. When you arrived in 2016, did you feel like the Premier League was intense? Was it really, pre was it different to what you'd experienced before? At other clubs. Yeah, yeah. Every, everybody talks about how different is the Premier League comparing La Liga or Bundesliga or Italy League or the big or French League, the biggest ones in South America. Everyone said that. Yeah, that's why I came here to prove if it really was and it really is. <laughs> so it's so intense and competitor and I came to prove ourselves. We prove ourselves. If the way we want to play, we could do it and we did it. At the end, if you are lucky, you have the opportunity to come to England to be manager, you have to. You have to live these experiences. The payoff, payoff incredible well to come here. It it's was so best. nice, by far. You've got a World Cup this year. Mm. It's never happened before in, mm? in the season. I spoke to Thomas Tuchel last week and he's kind of concerned about it for so many different reasons. Do you have your own concerns? Anyone, anything. I, I, I learned from my, as a football player in the big club Barcelona to like, teach me a lot, like I am as a, as a man, football player, as a manager. It's happened, it's happened. It's World Cup, World Cup. What do you have to do? Adjust. Control what you can control. Mm -hmm. Is yourself. Perform better, perform well. This is what you have to do. World Cup, decide to do it well. What I hear is complaining, is worse or better. Or, it's what it is. What about those players that you kind of, that don't go to the World Cup? How? Holidays. <laughs> Mar Marbella, two, <laughs> two weeks. Marbella, two weeks, and after come back. Yeah, they so go what there. will you do? Uh, home. I don't Relax. know exactly, I didn't plan, I didn't plan, but I will hold this too, absolutely.